What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ben, your host of course, and uh, right here we have a new software update for macOS. As you can see, this is macOS Sequoia 15.5 Developer Beta 3. The public beta should be coming out pretty soon. And you can see for my MacBook Pro, the exact update size comes in at 2.44 gigs. And I was updating from the previous macOS 15.5 Developer Beta 2. Now. Just to keep you in the loop, this is not all that Apple released. You can see some other beta 3 updates that were released alongside this macOS versions. We have watchOS 11.5 beta 3, visionOS 2.5, tvOS 18.5. This is the video we're covering for macOS. And you can see alongside that we have iPadOS 18.5 beta 3 and iOS 18.5 developer beta 3. For all the versions of macOS, we got macOS 14.7.6 RC2 and we have have Mac OS 13.7.6 RC2. Most of those I do cover here on the channel at Half Man Half Tech. So if you want to keep up to date, then definitely do subscribe so that you don't miss out. Now what I'm going to do is quickly update my device and then we're going to look at the new features and changes that this software update has to offer. Just like that, my device has now been updated to the latest version. You can see right here, we are up to date. You can see the check marks just showed up right there. And now if we go into the storage, just to see the new software changes right there, you can see when it comes to Mac OS, this exact version is about average at 22.62 gigs. And if we click on the more info tab, Apple intelligence storage is also about average at 11.59 gigs and the build number that we have with this version is 24F5053J. So it ends with a J. It's not something that's typical to go from a J to an RC. So we are expecting another macOS 15.5 beta 4 expected next week since we are on a weekly release cycle. In terms of what's new or what this update has to offer, the first thing has to do with Finder because it actually provides a fix for Finder. If you are using network shares containing large amounts of data that are incorrectly enumerated, this update fixes that issue and you should be able to see your different shared location now without issues and the enumeration should be correct now. Also by going into the Apple K and warranty page, this page is loading up properly. You can see just loaded up there. The font and text was made more bold and you can see now the information loads up and like before and it's much faster. You can see how fast it loaded up there. If I go back, maybe I'll go to my 16 pro click there. You can see it loads up pretty fast. If I go to my MacBook pro, which is this one that I'm testing, you can see it loads up really good when it comes to Apple K information. Unlike before where this would take some time and some device information sometimes wouldn't show up it would just be a blank pop-up screen there's a user that reached out to me saying that in the developer app they see a new splash screen so i checked and you can see right here we do have a new pop-up screen when it comes to the developer application and uh, the version that i have right here you can see it there it's the dot seven dot four and here it tells you about how to stay connected and read about the community and explore videos and once i click continue you can see basically it just goes to the discover page and the main highlight at the top is wwdc 2025 when it comes to some of the release notes that this update has to offer you can see for this beta actually they highlight the finder issue that has been resolved for um sharing files that contain large amounts of data are incorrectly enumerated that has been resolved and we have hfv where there's a resolved issue right there and you can see it has to do with some apis that have been resolved and this one was actually existing i believe from the first beta that has to do with the pro display card blader and that has been resolved and we have store kit also that has another resolved issue so not much i believe the only new thing that has been highlighted is that which has to do with finder and H hvf that has been resolved so not much has been changed right here. I want to quickly show you how my battery performance has been since the last update. You can see here on Wednesday I used my device basically uh, over 100%. You can see I used maybe about 100 and 
15 20 percent and i got about seven hours which was actually pretty good you know this beta hasn't been the greatest for me when it comes to battery life on thursday you can see right there i got about maybe two hours of battery life and i used maybe about let's say 20 percent so i wasn't doing things it depends on what i'm doing and uh, since my battery health isn't the greatest you know it says it's on normal but you can see my maximum capacity is on 86 percent and one of the reasons for that is because this is the m1 pro macbook pro it's my first apple silicon mac but yeah battery life is about slightly below average if i had to estimate and compare it to my previous version that i was coming from the non-beta which is mac os 15.4 in terms of performance i did run geekbench 6 just to see how this version compares with the previous beta 2 that i was coming from so on previously beta 2 i actually had the single core score of 2160 and then for multi-core i had a score of 7903 the higher the number in this case the better and you can now compare and see how then those figures stack up with this new beta 3 that we have today for single core i got 2298 and then for multi core i got 10208 so it's better in both single core and multi core by miles and you know that's a good thing hopefully this goes to mean that things are more stable in the background i haven't yet did the second reboot after updating my device but i like to see these higher score figures because it sometimes does depict that you know there always is more of a stable build as compared to some other previous versions that i was coming from and someone actually did comment and mention that hey my uh geekbench scores on beta 2 looked a little bit too low so it's it's good to see that hey with this version even without doing the second reboot these are good figures about average which i've been getting right here so i like that for this now let's talk about when we can expect the next version you can see today being april 12 right here actually april 21st um the next version is expected on the 28th and that's supposed to be beta 4 of mac os 15.4 and then on the week of may 5th we're expecting the release candidate version and then officially this update is most likely going to be released on the week of the 12th of may right there that's my quick take right there and then maybe later on that week we might see mac os 15.6 maybe on a wednesday or thursday and then that will be in beta until we see the first developer beta of uh you know the of mac os 16 at uh, wwdc 2025 which i'll try and cover but other than that that's just my quick take right here when it comes to mac os 15.5 not a lot of changes but the existing ones such as you know what apple introduced in the mail app are still existing among other few minor changes but in beta 3 not a lot has changed that's about it for me if you like this video leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video